Hello everybody, I'm Lonnie with Everything Nature. Today I'm just going to show you a few of my favorite fossils in my own personal collection. So stick around and watch. So as you may have noticed, behind me in almost every episode, I have a pretty nice collection of natural artifacts. A lot of them are fossils, and a few of them I've actually collected myself. Today I'm going to share a few of my very favorites with you. So let's check them out. First off, we have this really cool rugose coral that was found right here in Oklahoma, but not by me, unfortunately. Rugose coral is also called tetracolora, and is a family of coral that is now extinct. This rugose coral is a colonial coral, meaning that the polyps grow together in a group. Another member of the rugose family is a very common coral called horn coral, and it's a solitary coral. These pieces of horn coral I dug myself in Bartlesville, Oklahoma. Now here's a really cool one. This is a toe bone from a woolly mammoth. Uh, this is the metacarpal specifically. That would be this bone right here on your toe or your finger. Now mammoths, like elephants, uh, actually walked on their tiptoes, kind of like this. Now this fossil technically belongs to my brother, but he moved across the country a few years ago and left it behind in my parents' attic. So I'm just gonna keep it safe for him until he asks for it back. <laughs> it looks nice on my shelf. Lastly, this is a really nice one. This is a really big tooth from a really big fish. And in fact, this guy's name means big tooth. Megalodon was, as far as we know, the largest shark that ever lived. It was estimated to reach 40 to 50 feet long, although some people believe that they could have been a lot bigger. The main reason that we don't really know how big Megalodon was is because, like other sharks, Megalodon had a cartilaginous skeleton, not a skeleton made of bone like you think of with most animals. And cartilage just doesn't fossilize very well. So primarily the only fossils we have from Megalodon and any other shark for that matter is his teeth and his backbone. And there have been very few Megalodon backbone or vertebrae found and it's just really hard to estimate the size of an animal judging by just its teeth and backbone. Now this particular tooth was found off the Georgia coast in the really muddy waters there. But North Carolina, South Carolina, and other states in that area are also really good spots for finding shark fossil teeth. Now personally, I've never been shark tooth hunting, but it's definitely something on my bucket list and I would definitely like to give it a try someday. Well, I hope you all enjoyed taking a little closer look at my fossil collection today. Um, if there's anything else up here that you'd like to take a closer look at, just let me know. You can message us on Facebook. Well, thanks for watching and we will see you next time on Everything Nature. If you love learning about cool naturey things, you should like this video. You can subscribe to us on YouTube and you can even check us out on Facebook. Thank you very much.